different way for it. So I said, uh, which one of the following is an advantage of primary market research? A, mar a primary market research is a research that is first hand. It means you are the one gathering the information. So if you are the one gathering the information, it means it is up to date. So the answer is A. It is less time consuming, no. It is more, it takes time before you can get that information. It is cheaper than other type of market research. No, it is expensive. It is cheap. Uh, it is only done by market research agencies. No, it is done by businesses too. Anyone can carry out a primary market research. So the answer is A. Human figure two. Which one of the following is the financial objective? Personal satisfaction is non-financial. Independence is non-financial. Control is non-financial. So the only financial uh, objective here is increasing market share because that increases your revenue. So the answer is B. Question. Human figure three. Are you there? I said, uh, we have uh, a table there. So which one of the following is the total revenue? Total revenue is price multiplied by quantity. So the price per bowl is 12, 12 pounds, and the quantity is 200. So 12 multiplied by 200, that's 2,400. That's question Roman figure three. Roman figure four, so the answer is C. Roman figure four, which one of the following would be a disadvantage for a partner in a partnership? Sharing the workload. Sharing the workload is an advantage. Liability for, liability for all debts. That is the problem because it is unlimited liability. Access to more capital is an advantage. Sharing skills is also an advantage. So the only problem a partner would have here is liability, which is B. Clear? Yes. Human figure five. Our brand value for 2018 was $7.6 billion. Our, our are plans to increase its brand value by 14%. So to increase it by 14%, it means 14 over 100 multiplied by 7.6. So that gives us 1.064. And we need to know the value for 2019. So it's going to be 1.064. Plus 7.6. So that gives us 8.66. 8.66. So the answer is C. Question Roman figure 5. Roman figure 6. Which one of the following is a source of long term finance? An overdraft is a short term finance. Sales revenue is a short, is a short term finance. Trade credit, that's creditors, they are, it's a short term. Bank loan is a long term because you can pay bank loan after a year. Mm -hmm. So the answer is D. Question B. Yeah. Divide the term sole trader. A sole trader is an individual who owns and controls a business. So a business that is owned and controlled by an individual is a sole trader. I think it's clear. Question, is it clear, please? Yes. <coughs> C. Divide the term demographics. When we talk about demographics, it implies to a particular section of the population. The population, maybe by age, uh, by, uh, by age, by religion, or whatever it is. But whatever section, each section of a population is called demographics. Clear? Yes. State one reason, question D. State one reason why Huawei may use share capital as a source of finance. Share capital is considered as a permanent capital. It means the money is not going to, you're not going to pay, Huawei is not going to pay back those shareholders, the money. The only thing it's going to pay back is dividends, that share of profit. Yes. So that means Huawei will be able to use that money to invest in new technology. Clear? Yes. We're going to E. Oh, question E. We have the revenue 721.202 and we have the operating profit 73287. We're told to calculate to two decimal place the operating profit margin. The operating profit margin is profit, uh, it's revenue divided by operating profit multiplied by 100. Revenue divided by operating, uh, sorry, operating profit divided by revenue multiplied by 100. So our operating profit is 73,287 multiplied by 100 divided by 721202. So it is 10.16%. So operating profit is uh, profit margin is operating profit divided by revenue multiplied by hundred. So that's it. Uh, question F. Explain one advantage of for a business of using sponsorship. When you use sponsorship, when sponsoring an event, it will allow the business to gain more popularity or publicity. And gaining more publicity means you can cover a wide range of customers. This can also attract them either potential customers or normal or existing customers to continue to buy from your business. When you sponsor an event, it means you are putting back into the organization or you are putting back to the society. So that would that might increase your revenue and profits. Mm -hmm. So that's F. I think it's clear. Yes. So we'll go to G. Analyze the benefit of our way of locating its factories near to its labor sources. So locating a factory closer to skilled laborers, skilled labor force, will reduce the cost of training. So our uh, will doesn't need to train workers because the workers that are in that location are already skilled. Yes. That reduces the amount of money spent 
So the money saved without the money saved for not training workers can be used to invest in new technology yes. or do important projects for Huawei. Also, Huawei may need certain skills to certain skills to operate its factory. So being able to have skilled workers in its location means that productivity will increase for Huawei. Is it clear? Okay. So that ends question one of November, December 2021.